There are many places across North America that have their own scary urban legend. From mutant creatures who lurk in the woods to bloodthirsty monsters, we're about to explore some of the creepiest urban legends from this continent. Well, how's it going, you guys? I'm your host for this one, Landon Dalton. Welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. If you guys haven't already checked out our new video on tier list, it is absolutely hilarious and a very painful video that we did. We're trying the spiciest foods. It was a whole lot of fun with two big special guests in that video as well so make sure you guys go check it out so we're gonna be announcing the winner of the $250 very very soon on this channel and also on tier list and we're gonna be running more contests on that channel as well so make sure you guys go over there and subscribe we're gonna be giving away hundreds if not thousands of dollars to you guys all right let's get right into this list this is a top 10 scary North American urban legends starting us off in at number 10 we have the Alaska Triangle the Alaska Triangle covers an area ranging from Juneau in the southeast to the northern borough region all the way over to Anchorage. This is an area that apparently craves souls and more than 20,000 people have gone missing without a trace in this region. So what's the explanation for this? Some people believe that a mythical creature is roaming in this area and he likes to feast on human flesh while others believe that this area causes you to become confused and disoriented so you're not able to find your way home. The most famous disappearance was back in October 1972 when an airplane that was carrying some pretty important political leaders suddenly disappeared. This led to one of the largest manhunts in Alaska's history. It lasted 39 days and it involved 400 aircrafts, 12 US Coast Guard vessels as well. But nothing was ever found. Even to this day, this remains as one of the biggest mysteries in Alaska. And you know what? Note to self. Never visit the Alaska Triangle because it's just as scary as the Bermuda Triangle. Why is everything in triangles? The Char Man heats things up in at number nine. Char Man has a pretty gruesome backstory. This urban legend is about a father and a son who were both caught in a house fire and they suffered from horrible burns in 1948. After the fire, the son became so mentally unstable, which caused him to stab and hang his father to death. When the police finally found the son, he was so burnt that they weren't even able to tell if he was alive. So he was able to run away before they can arrest him for the brutal murder. Ever since that night, the chairman can still be seen wandering around the woods that surround Ojai and that's located in California. Rumor has it that he will approach tents and torment campers. He will also attack anyone that goes in his way, and it's unclear on how many people he's actually killed. So be on the lookout if you are in Ojai, California for the chairman. Let's head over to the Beast of Bladenboro over in North Carolina, and this brings us in at number eight. This terrifying creature looks like a panther, but he is a bloodthirsty killer who lurks in the darkness, and that's because he's looking Looking for his next meal. He is known to attack dogs and even people, so watch your back if, um, yeah, we're not in North Carolina now, I don't have to worry here, but if you're in North Carolina, watch yourselves. People have claimed to see this beast say that he's about three feet long, 20 inches high, and has a long tail with a cat's face. Others say that his scream sounds like a woman being stabbed with a knife. According to the local reports, animals in the area have died mysteriously, and all of their blood was drained from their bodies. Some of them were mutilated, and some of them were even found with broken bones or completely flattened. So is this just an urban legend or does the beast of Blatantboro actually exist? I'm really hoping that he doesn't. Moving into number seven, we're talking about the Chupacabra. His name literally means a goat sucker. And I think this is a real thing. This creepy animal is said to roam through Mexico, Southwest USA, and Puerto Rico. The Chupacabra is blamed for killing livestock and terrorizing people. They look like a hairless bear and sometimes they can be seen with spikes on their backs. I just hope this guy doesn't get thirst for human blood because if that was the case we'd all be in a lot of trouble. I'd probably never leave my house even though he's only an urban legend I would still be afraid. I mean just look at this thing. This is what nightmares are made of. The creepy clown statue scares us in at number six. Not everyone loves clowns. Actually a lot of people are deathly terrified of them 
and this urban legend is no exception. This story actually originated from a chain letter that was being circulated in 2006 and the story goes like this. One night a couple went out to dinner and called the babysitter to watch their kids. When the babysitter arrived, the kids were already fast asleep in their beds so she just hung out downstairs for a couple of hours until the parents called. She said that the kids are fine but would it be alright if she put a blanket on a clown statue that was in the room because it made her nervous. The phone went silent for a moment and the mom replied with we don't have a clown statue. Grab the kids and get out of there as fast as you can. And at the bottom of the chain letter, it says, if you don't repost this letter to 10 people within the next five minutes, the clown will be standing next to your bed at 3 a.m. And he's gonna be there with a knife. I mean, I've already passed this letter on to you guys, so now it's your turn to pass it on to 10 more people. Riverdale Road drives onto this list at number five. This creepy road is located near Thornton, Colorado, and it is full of horrifying urban legends. From a ghost to attacks parked cars, crazy demons, and a phantom car, this road has it all. But probably the most terrifying story about Riverdale Road has to be about the gates of hell. If you're brave enough to drive along this road, you will see some pretty rusty gates, but legends has it that these gates are actually a portal to hell. It's no wonder why so much demonic activity is reported here. But the fun doesn't stop there. You'll also see a bloody handprint suddenly appear on road signs. You can see ghosts hanging from trees, and if you're unlucky, you might even see some shapeshifters who are out there to kill you. The dog boy barks onto this list at number four. This urban legend takes us all the way over to a small town in Arkansas. Apparently there is a 300 pound half man, half beast creature that has glowing red eyes who is known to bite at people's heels and chase them down the street. Sounds like someone needs to call the Humane Society. This urban legend originated from an even darker story. The dog boy was based off of a problem kid who used to enjoy torturing animals. Eventually he graduated from animals and he began to torture his own parents. Parents. He even locked them up in the basement where he can severely injure them on a daily basis. So that's how the dog boy urban legend came to be known. But this is actually a true story, which makes it a hundred percent worse. Diving in at number three, let's talk about Hell's Gate Bridge. A young couple was driving over this bridge, but they somehow managed to swerve their car off of the bridge. This happened during the nighttime, and they ended up drowning. So now there are two legends associated with Hell's Gate Bridge. The first one is. If you drive your car in the middle of the bridge and turn off the lights, the couple will magically appear in the back seat and leave a wet spot. And the second urban legend states that if you drive over the bridge and you look over your shoulder halfway across, you will see a portal to hell engulfed in flames. So make sure you guys don't put your car in reverse because you might not be making it out there alive. The Wendigo dropped onto our list at number two. Well, he's a terrifying creature who has an irresistible hunger for human flesh. This beast has to consume human flesh in order to survive the cold winters in North America. And no matter how much flesh they eat, they will always be hungry for more. They supposedly measure in at about 15 feet tall, have glowing eyes, yellowish skin that looks like it's decaying. Legend has it that the Wendigos used to be humans, but they are formed whenever humans consume the flesh of another human being. So if you don't want to become a Wendigo yourselves, then you should probably take human flesh off of your menu. I think we should name the Wendigo to Hannibal. Actor. It's just fitting. Crofty terrifies us in at number one. If you live around Staten Island, then you probably recognize this name. Cropsy is rumored to be a homicidal lunatic who escaped from a mental institution. He apparently has a hook for a hand that he uses to hunt children and drag them back to an underground tunnel system. Parents used to tell their children that Cropsy is around the area, so they're better off staying close to home. Because for all they know, Cropsy could be anywhere and he could wait at any moment to claim his next victim. But then, they Things took a turn for the worse when Cropsy became more than an urban legend. Children around Staten Island actually started to disappear for real and that's because there was an actual homicidal madman who really did hunt children. His name was Andre Rand and Staten Island was never the same since. And there you guys have it. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching this. Don't forget to check out tier list in the description down below. We'll put a link down there for you guys. Hit the subscribe button on that channel. That's it for me here. I'll see you guys all in the next most amazing top 10 video.